tired of Nigeria's rising inflation rates? You've come to the right place. Hi, my name is Anne. Welcome to Money and Business Blog, where I discuss personal finance, growing your business, and general career advice for Nigerians living in Nigeria. So subscribe to my channel and like and share this video with your friends once you're done watching. Now, let's discuss the ways you can save in dollars while earning in Naira and living in Nigeria. A domiciliary account is the most traditional way of saving in dollars. You just need to fill a DOM account opening form from any of the Nigerian banks and provide a passport, proof of address in form of a utility bill and means of identification. The good thing about it is that you're saving your money with reputable institutions. However, what I don't like about it is that it's hard to get Naira quickly. You have to withdraw dollars in cash and then get Aboki to change your dollars to Naira for you. Also, there are lots of bank fees in operating a DOM account. And lately, there has been uncertainty from CBN. With Flex Dollar by Piggyvest, you can convert your Naira to dollars easily. It's good because you get up to 7% interest per annum. You can deposit, withdraw and transfer for free. You can transfer up to $1,000 to others, withdraw to your Nigerian DOM account for $35 and withdraw to your US account for $45. To get the app, download on Play Store and App Store. Piggyvest is one of the most popular savings apps in Nigeria. You can check out their Naira savings options as well. With CarryWise, you get access to dollar-denominated mutual funds. There are currently two options in the app. You can see year-to-date returns and other detailed information to enable you make a good decision. There's typically a management fee of 1.5%. Take note that this plan is meant for long-term savings. CarryWise also has several Naira savings options, so you might want to check that out. RiseVest offers dollar investment options for as low as $10. With RiseVest, you get three options, Euro bonds, real estate, and stocks. You have to select a maturity period of three months, six months, or 12 months to fund a plan. The investment returns depend on the maturity period and plan that you select. There are also different fees and charges on RiseVest, so you might want to read the frequently asked questions. RiseVest has other cool features for saving in dollars, like gifting a plan to someone or creating an investment portfolio, so make sure to check them out. Fiat collateralized stablecoins are digital representations of fiat currency. A USD-backed stablecoin is a digital representation of the US dollar. Basically, one coin equals one dollar. It's a way of getting all the benefits of crypto without the risk. If you're unfamiliar with this, make sure to check out my YouTube video How to Get Started with Bitcoin in 2021 and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. In Nigeria, you can buy Tether on Bycoins or Quidax, USD Coin on Luno or Bycoins, and BUSD on Binance or Bondo. So check out these apps on Play Store and App Store to know registration requirements. This leads me to a new product from Bondo called Vault. But first, follow my Instagram at Money and Business Blog where I share really great content. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you. Bondo has two options for saving BUSD. With a flexible plan, you can save as little as 0.1 BUSD and get up to 6% interest per annum. Your interest is paid to you daily and withdrawal is free. With a fixed plan, you have to lock your BUSD for a period of time. You can save a minimum of 100 BUSD and earn up to 6.65% interest per annum. Your interest is paid at the end of the maturity period and withdrawal is free. I'm going to compare all of the methods that I've discussed. So hang in there, okay? It's not easy to withdraw to Naira from your DOM account compared to other options. Bondu and Flex Dollar are the cheapest options. You get the lowest interest on your DOM account. Don't forget to read more and ask users about these methods. Also test one or two options before committing to anyone. 
Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.